Would you would you agree that Philippine society has a huge daddy issue? Cuz cuz you know we look up to this macho father figure who who will lay down the law and we cannot disobey or we will he will smite us. And then and then always you know you have the the the, the moms and the titas hovering in the background saying um kahit ganyan yan ama po pa rin yan ganun etc etc which we see in soap operas and so on. <laughs> do you think we choose our leaders based on our experience? I think we do. Parents, yeah, I think we do. Because there are some households that say daddy is macho and he works. Okay, apart from making soap, you also have a mental health initiative yes. that talks specifically to kids yes, yes. and to people in school. Yes. People yeah, so in school tell, tell and we also have a new uh, wave. We, we visit call centers, uh, BPOs. New it's called Project Steady, Project Steady and Steady. all we do is really provide wellness workshop. Okay. So we go to, uh, let's say, Concentrix. You know, I, lo I love Concentrix and I also have like this other company called William Hill. They come to us and most of their employees are in their late 20s and etc. We become their extracurricular department. Parang kami yung work ed department. We always kick off with a what is mental wellness talk where mm -hmm. everybody's required to be there. Our partner is Kathy um, Sanchez, Babao. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we offer classes where they can sign up. Poetry, creative writing, watercolor, etc. Zumba, jazz, dance, football, etc. But my favorite, we have this thing called the Virgin Series. We, we want to hear from them, what have you always wanted to try? So they say, I have never touched a violin. I always wanted to touch a violin. Mm. So we bring a violin teacher or a cello teacher and they touch one. So the only requirement is you should have never tried this before in your life because the requirement of the class is lahat tayo mo kan tanga. Mm. Para walang agit, walang agitated uh -huh. na. And, and no one feels insecure yeah. because someone is so good. At yeah, so it's called the Virgin Series, and it's their favorite because they really sign up. And some of them really have amazing suggestions, like you know, I've never ridden a horse, and I've always wanted to. So we we really raise hell to figure out how to arrange it for this because I think if you try something for the first time. May kalawang na nakuhulog from your brain eh. And that's, sometimes that's all you need. There yeah, and, and you begin to think na things can happen that you never expected. Whenever we would have um, concerts for Rock Ed before in, in provinces in public schools, I always like bringing this band called Paramita because their lead singer is a girl, Rhea, and she's the, also the drummer. And when she's playing the drums and singing, I love the faces of the kids because they look like this. Pwede pala yun. Mm. Alam mo, even if yung nagka one minute moment lang sila and they said, pwede pala yun. Ang laking nagbabago. Yeah. Ang laking nagbabago. That's why I always think, I guess in our narcissistic uh, age, where you post everything you do, yes. it's okay. Parang sige, I'll, I'll yeah, let it so, be. Para I think people live in order to provide content for their social media accounts. Rin, yes. sige, find the, so I think one of the reasons why I like Trying to, you know, I've been a researcher all my life. Researcher, writer, etc. I really work in abstractions. This is the first year where I'm producing something with my hands. The last time I did fine arts pa ako. Iba palang nagagawa ng comfort when you produce something yeah. with your hands and you can see. For kids, I really suggest you paint, do collages. I don't know what it is that you want to do. So that you can take a picture of it and post it on Instagram. Why? We can't stop you from posting on Instagram anymore. Pwede ba natin bawasan yung mukha mo? Kahit 8% lang ng timeline mo, uh, uh, uh. at least something you created, you know, a vase, a collage. It, so, just to remind people that there is something called life. Yes, 3D, 3D, <laughs> that is, we forget. That, that is what feeds 
everything yeah. else. Yes. Can you imagine we uh, we get angry just watching the news mm -hmm. because the spokesperson said something stupid? Me, or I don't the... watch the news at all. Oh, that's it's why the secret you, of happiness. That's why you because so I figure that um, if something is important enough, ten people will Tell send you. me complaining texts or Viber messages. And, that's a good you know, I'll theory. I'll hear about it. Yeah. I have to say this. Uh, imagine you watch the news. You see the spokesperson or um, let's say the Senate president say something really asinine and init ng ulo mo buong araw. Senator Soto or let's say Attorney Salpanelo, they don't even know me. They don't even care about me. And yet they ruined my day. Mm -hmm. So kaninong kas akin yun. Kasalanan ko yun. I let them eh. Yeah. So wag, 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 wag. watch your wellness. But if for some reason it's just healthier for you to react, then yeah, that's why you need to get to know yourself. Yes. There are some people like me. My default is engaged. Mm -hmm. I get sick, pala, when I don't react and I don't engage in civic matters. So, so what matters. do you? How do you deal um, with the fact? That I find a way to say something very diplomatically. I think I tried to tweet something that's uh, undetectable, troll undetectable. Well, they're not interested in me anyway. It's me who's been No, actually, they are interested in you. No, basically, they never bother me. Basically, you were hounded off the social media. I don't know. Maybe I don't reply as often as I should. I really ignore. I don't know. That's a muscle you develop. You know, you, you ignore those who are irrelevant, I suppose. Yeah, because it's a long time. And the feeling, ko, you know, like Secretary Loxin, for example, he's the Foreign Affairs Secretary. Uh, I'm so surprised at the change in behavior and even the eloquence is just who left the room. So I always comment on him and then I realize Secretary Teddy Veloxin doesn't even know me, he doesn't care, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't even read what I read, but I need to say it, so it's okay. So it's a it's not there's not one proper way, but there is a way that's appropriate for you. Yes, and your whatever wellness. works for you. Yes. Yeah. So there's no one rule, but it will really begin from um, self, you have to know yourself. Is it you working know? though, you think? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Since I started complaining online more, uh, my eczema really kind of dried up. Because uh, there was a time I was on fresh flare. Because you're like, able to express. let it go, to e release. Express, yes. yeah, I was able to express, yeah. Do you not need this? Like, do you not need expressing I don't know. anymore? I guess not anymore. Oh, As in, wow. yeah, I'm, I'm good at closing off things. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I think uh, closing, off, that muscle is something that should be developed. Yeah, it's well. like, um, <laughs> when... if, if somebody's dead to me, they're dead to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really think we should listen to nature again. Nature has seasons seasons end and you know we have we have people who stay mayor for 60,000 years and they're yes. still there and how do they do that with term limits they let their wife take over who the then place eventually their, their, their child, children their, yeah. their grandchildren and then they so run on. run again right they come back and I'm thinking why because for four decades you're the only one that can run? yeah are you the know. only people living in that city I don't know. Is it arrogance, ba? Like because baka ako lang may kaya, so I'll do it. Or yeah, yes, I don't and know. Also, I have to understand why do you want to stay? And also, why are they allowed to? I mean, why why do the voters keep voting for them? I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah, that's a mystery too. But uh, uh, we run on who's familiar. Yung pangalan. Mm -hmm. Kung hindi ka naganda sa balota, pagdating mo sa precinct, ay alam ko tong name na to narin ng guto. And wala namang attached uh, plunder, so I guess he's okay. You know, and that's what got us, I think, in the end. Would you would you agree that Philippine society has a huge daddy issue? Because because you know we look up to this macho father figure who who will lay down the law, and we cannot disobey or we will he will smite us. And then and then always you know you have the the the, the moms and the titas hovering the background saying. Um, kahit ganyan yan, ama po pa rin yan, ganyan, etc, etc, which we see in soap operas and so on. Do you think we choose our leaders based on our experience? Yeah, I think we do. Because there are some households that say, daddy is macho and it worked. Mm -hmm. Because we all feel protected, even if we lived in the middle of, I don't know, the most dangerous alley of Cubao. Yeah, the dad who yeah. will go out drinking, come home, beat you up, and then go off with his ten mistresses and so on. <laughs> Well, me, I'm sure my dad naganon. I think when we when we say values, what it really means, ano ang mahalaga sa yo, ano ang valuable sa yo. Sa iba, valuable ang protection. Siguro they live in a in, not in very dangerous safe neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah. So so comforting sa kanila na macho si daddy. Na, na may barrel. Na ipagtatanggol exactly, kami sa diba? mga diba? kay Max Alvarado. Oh. Pero kung nakatira ka naman sa relatively safer place, you know, a quiet 
rural town or anything. Uh, the premium more is daddy is fun and uh, we can go to the bath Yeah, together. that's a good point. Iba. Yes. So yeah. what do you value? So, so so it's all really a loop. Yes, yes. So I really think, uh, let's say this uh, sitting president, President Duterte, uh, Davao yung kanyang uh, city. Yes. Okay. Iba ang klima ng Davao, ng kalye ng Davao, kumpara sa kalye ng Dumaguete. Mm-hmm. So, iba ang itsura ng mayor dyan. Iba yung, iba yung na-elect. Duterte, Mayor Duterte as mayor of Davao, was angkop. Appropriate. Dahil macho. Kasi it makes them feel safe. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang macho din ng mga kriminal dun eh. Diba? Okay. <laughs> macho din ang mga nangyayari dun. So, uh, but if you go, if you let's say go to let's say um, Batanes, mm-hmm. hindi mo naman masadong kailangan ng macho na mayor jan, mm-hmm. kasi iba yung klima, iba yung yung kalye. Iba yung. So uh, I think um, the dad issue, uh, when we elect our leaders, so we have to really uh, process that it's different from our homes. Yeah, it's and then we have to ask ourselves, what do we really want? Of this yes. leader, yes. I'm, I want us to stop feeling, stop being emotional, emotional about our leaders. We do not have to like them, find them funny, or we don't have to say, "Ay ang ganang feeling ko when I see this." Yes, no. we need to separate politics from entertainment. Yes, 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 yes. We have poets for that. We have artists for that. What do I want? We forget. Gosh, there's this art historian, Bernard Berenson. Berenson. He said. We forget that government is just complicated housekeeping. Yeah, complex it's, it's housekeeping. just bigger. It's yeah. just give me my road, my hospital, my school, my uh, safety, my institutions that will safeguard my day in court. Give me my um, you know healthcare, etc. Because because we all pay taxes. And we forget it's housekeeping. We want to think that they have to give us inspiration. We have poets for that. Yes. We have, we have musicians for that. It's you know, okay. we know that um, we have matured as a, as a political system. When we have boring leaders, we don't even want to think about. Yes. You know, when you have a poster, uh, pag-asa ng bayan, boses ng kabataan, uh, you know, boses magiting, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And I'm thinking, nobody ever puts super spectacular, mag-organize ng accounting. Exactly. Uh, we never uh, uh, put uh, very organized sa process. Oh, uh, like when you go out to dinner, you can order within 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Walang nakalagay doon decisive. Mm. Uh, you know, process, no, these are, these are things oriented. that are somehow undervalued. What? Because now we expect politicians to be our parents. Our parents mm. and, and the our one... Our parents and entertainers. Ins- inspiration sources. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. We have poets for that. We have artists Just for give that. me a train it's system that, that yeah. works. Ah, Just give me traffic that is not a human rights violation. Exactly. And you know me, if I I earn 8,000 pesos a month, let's say I'm a bus boy or a wait staff, 8,000 pesos a month, and you're, you earn a million a month because you're president of something. I don't okay. know. Dapat, when we go home, pareho pa rin tayong may clean running water. Pag may nag-disturb sa'yo, pareho tayong pwedeng tumawag ng police. Whether sa Forbes ka or sa, ewan ko Yes, because ako. our phones work. <laughs> and within X number of minutes, nandyan yung police. Yes. Kasi it doesn't matter kung mayaman ka or ako hindi. Pag tumawag ka sa police, dapat nandyan sila. Pag magkasa- kung magkasakit ako at sana hindi at or ang mga anak ko or mga whatever, kailangan may malapit na health center, barangay clinic, na kaya man lang mag-manage ng emergency. Kung may mga anak ako, dapat within walking distance, panaginip pa, panaginip pa, within walking distance, may maayos na eskwelahan na hindi ko sila kailangan i-enroll sa, ewan ko, na sobrang mahal. So, ano nangyayari ngayon? Lahat ng taga-alabang, yung anak nila, nasa Ateneo, lahat ng mga nasa Loyola Grand Villas, nasa South Ridge yung... So, nagta-traffic. Lahat pa itong mga batang to hinahatid, mag-isa, ganyan lang kaliit. Ang laki-laki ng bag, hinahatid lahat. Lahat sila may SUV. So, it contributes to traffic. They don't even walk. We don't walk to school. You know, even just that, the indicator of that, that says a lot, ah. We don't enroll in the nearest school. Yes. That alone says, speaks volumes of how this government is not providing. For me, if we have good district schools, it solves 30% of traffic. Yes. I, I, I beep you not, really. And I then would we just forget. like to you know, go from point A to point B. Um, 
in a reasonable amount of time yeah. without feeling that I'm being held hostage by the driver. <laughs> I also need to plan more than two errands a day. Yes. Diba? It's like two is the maximum Max. number of things you can do in one day. Kasi yung third, medyo buang ka na eh. Uh-huh. By the time you get to your third errand, eh, diba? Parang, rrr, may It's just na. so difficult to get the most basic things done. Like, I just spent six weeks abroad and I was thinking, this is why Pinoy's, when they leave the Philippines, do yeah. very well because things work yes. and it's not a challenge yeah. to just get the day's work done. I know. We put also such a premium on resourcefulness, don't yes. you think? And I think that's really palusot. Like, ang galing, kahit walang, kam- kahit walang equipment, kaya yung... Eh, and yet, this mo- is not the way things should be, I have to say this about athletes, our athletes, because I'm very involved in Mindanao Peace Games. Mindanao Peace Games is an all-girl athletic league, all-biological girl athletic, female athletic league in Mindanao. Kasi kulang na kulang yung sports. And we want women, more girls to be involved in sports. Para they're stronger. Because, uh, you know, if a girl can run fast, may advantage siya to keep herself safe over the girl yes. who doesn't run fast. Yeah. So, so that's Mindanao Peace Games. We always say, ang galing nila, no? Kahit walang equipment, umaabot sa SEA Games. Na, why? We should have given them equipment exactly. para umaabot pa sa Olympics. Hindi, da- hindi ibig sabihin na dahil gumaling sila, eh, that's the way they should always yeah. be treated. Of course, there is a premium in, yeah, you work with what you have, and etc. Oo naman, para hindi ka spoil. Pero, merong yatang appropriate amount of support mm-hmm. and equipment needed for somebody to feel some support ng grabe ang, hin- ang hilig natin sa hinagpis eh, no so ano my last question sure. because you've always advocated for you know social change and i'm sure a lot of people say well if you want change tumakbo ka for for public office so have you ever considered it <laughs> you know the biggest question really that we as a society must answer immediate before 2022 is why do people who should be running why do they not run why do good people with training with expertise with uh you know with the actual merit to run why do they not run yeah thus leaving the field open to assholes with money well that's one percentage of the collective yes there is that but there's some naman uh, very little but yes why do we not run? Should I? Uh, can I run? Yeah, of course I can run. I mean, maybe I can run, but I probably won't win. But I can run. But why was it never considered for me? You know, I saw I saw a campaign up close, and I really can't do the song and dance number that comes with it. Uh, your do you ex- think there will ever be a day when candidates are not required to sing and to dance, sing and, like they were the auditioning dream, right? for? It will only happen. A reality show. Yeah. It will only happen the day we say. Government official, all I want from you is my hospital, my healthcare, my school, my bridge, my roads, the nobaha, and etc. That's all I need from you. You don't need to be cute or funny or have the perfect wife and kids. You don't have to sing and dance or be f- nothing. It's okay. Give me your function. You're right. We must have a government that is completely boring but super functional. Yes. Yeah. But why do we seek the celebrity ness still? We, we lost the meaning of celebrity, I think. It used to come from celebrate, you know? Yeah. We must celebrate something about this person. So this person's a celebrity. Basically, celebrity has eaten everything, eh. As in, it's um, not even celebrity. It's just fame, I think. Yes. Yeah. Famous for being famous. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, no, no. Celebrated sila dahil either. So, Brangel, Bruce Jenner, Decathlon. Yes. So, uh, you know, that was probably was not a good best example to say. But, but you celebrate that, something about them. That's a good example them. because what came after Bruce Jenner, um, the Kardashians, what exactly are they? Exactly, right? Exactly. So, uh, you know, nagsiselebrate tayo dahil super galing kumanta, super galing umarte, or super ganda, sige, pwede na rin, super guapo, uh, super talino, mm-hmm. uh, athlete. But at least, yung celebrity is, we, there's something to celebrate, you know? Yes. Uh, ngayon, yung celebrity is, uh, you know, who's famous? You're Paris a celebrity Hilton. ngayon, one million people hate you, so they follow your Twitter account. That's a thing. We are so afraid of being ignored, I think. Yes. That we all want the 15 minutes to be longer than 15 minutes. You know, the Warhol Hindi na uso ngayon yung, I want to be alone. And yeah, think, in order to create something, you have to be yeah, alone. Yeah, I think so. I think we one day we will relish our 15 minutes of anonymity. Mm. One day. But um, many, 
uh, I see they'd rather be hated than ignored. Mm -hmm. So they they'll say the absurd thing like yeah. Because they're afraid for them to ignore. Now, why why are they afraid of being ignored? I, I'm kind of used to being ignored. Is it okay to admit that? Uh, because I'm one of ten children of my mom. Nine ka agad yung kahati ko sa attention ng mom. So, medyo sanay akong ma-ignore. Okay lang. In my case, I was an only child until I was 12. So, talagang the, the super focus of my parents' uh, attention, I was thinking, I wish I were ignored. <laughs> Ako naman, sobrang nakita ko yung value ng maraming kapatid kasi kaya kong mag-blend in the woodwork mm. at hindi mapansin. Like, okay, mapapansin ka lang kasi if you're failing na or yes. you messed up na or uh -oh, you pag sampu eh, di ba? So, naisip ko, bakit tayo hindi sanay ma-ignore? Medyo sarap nga eh, di ba? Many wounds heal in secret. You know, many wounds heal in the dark. So, I so guess stay the, there naman the, the sometimes. Correct, um, last question should be, why can't Pinoy's stand to be alone? Hmm. What is so terrible about being alone? Wow, that's not probably not just a Filipino thing. Maybe that's a human human condition it's, thing. It's I think in our lang our language says it. In uh, English, it's I love you. So that's I verb you, mm -hmm. right? In Filipino, it's mahal kita. Magkadikit na kagad yung pronoun. So we associate. Is it wrong? No, it's not wrong. It's just our nature. But I think like nature always cyclical. Find mm -hmm. time naman to be alone, find time to, you will you will find yourself alone naman yeah. uh, every now and then. But I think what makes it unhealthy is if one or the other state becomes your priority or uh, becomes 80, 20, 90, 10. I think try every, we're not robots, so we can't do 50, 50. In my case, when I hear the voices in my head, I, I know I, it's time to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no. But do you cancel a lot? Because I cancel a lot. I cancel a lot. Uh, no, I, I tend to limit appointments because, as you know, it only you can only do two things yeah, in a single yeah, day. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Wow. We, yeah. I don't know. I think many are are like. I imagine that there are many Filipinos like me that we are extroverts to survive. We're extroverts so that if by necessity. Because there are projects that need to be done there, yeah, yeah. But I think everyone has a. There's no premium on an extrovert or who's who's better, an extrovert or an introvert. I think we're both. All of us are both. It's a matter of finding your 60, 60 40, 70, 30, right? But stay healthy, diba? Not In any just... case, how is your optimism level? Do you think things will get better? <sighs> You know, yes. <laughs> Woo, what a way. We ended with this question. I'm going to try um, your. Oh, your my formulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, yesterday I had a privilege of being with coaches and athletes from Mindanao. Okay. And I had to tell them when people ask you, may pag asa pa bang Pilipinas? Ang sagot ay, oo, oh, oh, nandito pa ako eh. Oo, oh, nandito pa ako eh. Kasi pag sinasabi pala ng tao, when we're asked, may pag asa pa bang Pilipinas? They really mean government eh. So, may pag-asa pa bang government? Iba yung sagot dun ah, dun sa may pag-asa pa bang Pilipinas. Kasi may pag-asa ang so Pilipinas, we, uh, we, ako yun! We associate, we, we mix up state and nation, nation and country. And Iba government, yun. yeah. Iba yun, mm. hindi. The Philippines is not its government. Yes. So, when you say may pag-asa pang Philippines, of course! Have you seen our poets? Have you seen our artists? Our athletes? Have you seen? Our, have you heard our rap artists? Our you know? Filmmakers, yeah, I mean, our filmmakers. People, yeah. It's, whoa, yes, our cuisine. You know, that's breaking into the inter global scene. Yep. Yes, may pagkasa pang Philippines. Oh, and dito pa ako, and dito ka pa eh, and dito pa si Jessica Zafra meron. But when they say may pagkasa pa bang Philippines, I equalify mo ah, hindi yeah. government yung tinatanong kasi iba. In, yeah, so the, the, the correct is formulation of government. the sentence is may pag-asa pa ba ang Pilipinas hindi yung gobyerno ng Pilipinas kundi ang Pilipinas oh, mismo. Of course. Yeah. Of course. You want to ask the reverse like may pag-asa ba ang government? Okay. Okay. Who I need to uncross my legs for that one. Uh, meron because we're a young nation, mm -hmm. please remember the U.S. had their constitution in the 1600s, 1700s. That's true. Yeah, and you know, they're not doing so great either. Hey, they? yeah. yes. And they've been what? around much uh, longer. Yeah. Meron, may pag-asa. Kasi cyclical and seasonal ang Philippines. I think babaling tayo to a more polite next leader. I'd like to imagine makakapoy tayo sa sa makakapoy tayo sa kadiri jokes sa medyo tanga na pa-cute na soundbite. 
it's tiring. Mm -hmm. Some of them think, oh, you know, maybe the fish was going to China. It's actually funny. Kasi yun naman ang orientation ni Senator Soto. One-liner. Sanay siya dyan eh. I watched him, uh, he's a good guy, I, up close. I saw him uh, when he said yung naano lang. Remember that when he was talking to Judy? Judy Tagiwala said, I, said, I know you're a single mom. Oh, kasi sa amin ang single mom na ano lang, he said that, right? In, in okay. the, on the Senate floor. Then I'm thinking, why would he say that? Then I realize, ah, instinct sa kanya, pag may audience, funny. To make instinct a smart-ass remark, yeah. Oo, he, nakakalimutan yata niya na legislator The position sa, I think yun lang now. yun eh. Mm -hmm. And then, Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Duterte, President Duterte, I think he's sanay siya sa role na siya yung, ridiculous absurd uncle that says the shocking thing in reunions and maybe we should remind no 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 it's office of the president ibang decorum ang kailangan hindi ano i mean i cuss every eight words really i can't when i'm in schools mm -hmm. or, or here or, or when i'm being interviewed pero lakas ko rin magmura di ba hindi naman ako president ng philippines pero na realize ko pwede magmura hanggang 2022 kahit sino mm -hmm. kasi president natin ganun eh inatras nga tayo eh so mm -hmm. i keep saying it's not politics or economics that will need our energy. I think it's wellness mm. that will need our energy now. Which is an interesting top, way of bringing the, uh, the conversation you. back top to topic. Top to bottom. Yes. Wellness is what we need. It's not yeah. even, don't worry about the dollar exchange, the yen power. Don't. There are regional and global influences that will always, you know, we were, hold, we were held sway. We are held sway by these. Uh, doesn't matter who the president is, eh? Yeah. But it matters who the president is. And it with matters, our matters your state of wellness. Yes. Yes. Because a mentally steady Filipino is a progressive Philippines. Yes. That's our safest vanguard. A mentally steady citizen. Yeah, it's a it's a goal. We're not all there. Yeah. But we'll go there, right?